I hope you guys all feel the magic in the air today because we're about to become NFT wizards. When I was researching for the Candyland video, I came across the Forgotten Runes Wizard Cult, which is at Forgotten Runes on Twitter, and I was curious as to what it was, so I did a little research. The first thing I did was scroll down and saw this weird pinned tweet that says, what is Forgotten Runes? With multiple character collections, dynamic airdrops, and the complex interplay of tokenomics, it can be hard to know where to start. Let us take you on an adventure and show you why the greatest franchise of all time will come from wizard NFTs. Now, I don't even know what half of this stuff means, like dynamic airdrops and the complex interplay of tokenomics. That just sounds like a bunch of gibberish. But I wanted to find out, so I did some Googling. And I guess according to Google, tokenomics is a term that refers to the study and analysis of the economic aspects of a cryptocurrency or blockchain project, with a particular focus on the design and distribution of its native digital tokens, which Kinda of still doesn't make sense. The term is a portmanteau of words token and economics. Wow, that's deep. But the main reason I want to talk about the Forgotten Runes wizard cult isn't just because it's a... <laughs> But the main reason why I want to talk about the Forgotten Runes Wizards Cult isn't just because it's another crappy NFT project, but because of this. Check out the MMO, Runiverse Game. Now when you click on this, it brings you to another Twitter page called the Forgotten Runiverse. And if you scroll down, it seems to be an open beta MMORPG. But as we can tell because of its origins, there's going to be some NFT shenanigans happening. And that brings us here to the Forgotten Runes website, which is way more high quality than I thought it would be with this like really cool animation playing in the back and a whole section about lore and cult content with like discords and wikipedias and youtube channels all linked to it. And this seems to be a really high class NFT project and they seem to put a lot of stock into this animation because if we scroll down even further it says in May we released our trailer produced with Titmouse Studios in Los Angeles. It was directed by our own Elf... How the fuck do I pronounce that name? It was directed by our own Elf J Troll and narrated by Christian Nairn of Game of Thrones. This trailer is a first look at our upcoming TV series developed by Derek Kolstad, John Wick producer. So of course, I had to look this up and see if it was legit. And it seems this trailer came out two years ago and there hasn't really been much on it since. Not saying this isn't going to release, but a trailer that came out two years ago tied to an NFT project, it seems a little familiar. They've also printed 200,000 physical copies of their Issue Zero comic book, and it seems there has only been one follow-up issue of this comic book. But with an NFT project, a game, a comic book, a trailer for a TV series at least, this is a multimedia project and seems to have a lot of funding behind it. But I really wanted to look at the game and see what it has to offer. So what better way to check out this game than to sign up myself? Alright, all my information's typed in. Now, create account. Oh, look. Login has been disabled as new foundations has ended. Thanks for. Thanks for what? I can't, I can't, I, okay, all right, well, I guess I can't play the game. Well, maybe I should watch other people play the game and see if I would be interested. Welcome. This is why we're here, the blockchain, dude. So it's a loot box system where you can randomly get valuable NFTs and things to sell in the blockchain and you just farm over and over and over. There's. There's so many problems with this. There's so many problems. Whenever there's a really grindy MMO, and any anyone who's played an MMO can tell you, the grindier the game, the more bots that there are in that game that are just grinding for materials and for money and for items, this game is just going to be swarmed with bots, and they're all just going to be trying to get the rarest NFTs to sell and make the creator of those bots extra cash. This guy has to be getting paid by the creator of this game. There's no other way he'd make a six minute long video being like, you're gonna attack the training dummy and it's gonna put up a fight, but you'll be able to beat him and earn some valuable loot. There's no way this guy is legit. As someone who's had NFT games approach me to sponsor them on my Twitch channel, it seems a little weird that there are like five YouTube channels all supporting this game and all making video content, just praising how this game is and how it works. I'm not saying that they are all paid off by the company, I'm just saying it happens and I've experienced it. The art style here at least kind of looks cool, and I do like turn-based RPGs and MMOs, but it doesn't really seem like there's anything unique going on here. It looks like the characters have three skills and an item. It, it looks like a very basic mobile turn-based RPG. Just the grab seems to be there's NFTs. That That's the drawing point for a lot of these people, right? The world map is split into separate biomes, each with their own environment, enemies, and enemy base. 
Whoa, different biomes with different environments and enemies? Dude, I've never heard of anything like that in a video game. That's wild. Keep in mind that each new area you go to will have two quests that you can complete. These quests are very- Wait, each area you go to has two quests? Two? It seems like this game has barely any content in it. Like, what? what is this game besides just kill the same enemy over and over? get a bunch of stuff to craft loot with and then just do the loot box system for NFTs. Like, th th it seems like they're just trying to make the most bare bones game possible just to try and get you to sell their stuff on the blockchain. Important, as they will provide you with new spell and gear recipes that will make your character much more powerful. Now you can begin exploring the territory, gathering materials, battling monsters for their sweet loot, and leveling up so you can go head to head with the dreaded cockatrice. The dreaded cockatrice. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. So he's burning all of his old gear from mana. And all of this gear filling up this this slot, whatever this is here, this this crafting table gives him 74 mana. But if we skip forward, you can return to the at the font of memory. One blessing or one loot box is 50 mana. 10 is 500 and 50 is 2500. That means you would have to get a lot of gear, <laughs> even to just to pull 10 blessings. So if you're trying to sell things on the blockchain here, I assume that would be hours and hours and hours of grinding to do like a 50 pull, which probably gets you like the best odds at getting a good thing. That is absolutely insane. I have a gotcha pity system for NFTs, dude. <sighs> What what is what is gaming? What is gaming becoming? This is like actually disgusting. It's so predatory and such a scam. I, I can't even begin to explain how bad this is. If you want to see your past rewards, click on this button in the top left. This is where you can manage your Web3 assets. Wait, 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 wait. OK, so you can click this button to manage your Web3 assets, whatever the fuck that means. But you there's also a shopping cart icon next to that. So is there a real game? like a real money in-game shop along with being able to sell and buy things on the blockchain. This is just like level. This is layers of predatory. Holy crap, guys. OK, so there's NFT skins, plots of land and just collectible cards that you can also sell. And you can just mint these items as you play the game. So you can just spend money in the real money shop grind for hours and hours to find a good item and open a bunch of loot boxes, get something that you think might be worth it and mint it on the store. So everyone is just playing this game in order to sell the valuable items they find. But again, I have to ask, like I do with all of these NFT games, who is then buying these? No, no one is buying these. Everyone's trying to sell them to make money. There's thousands and thousands of sellers and zero buyers because no one cares about getting like a cool sword in this game. No one cares about the actual game. It's all about the NFTs. It's all about minting onto the blockchain. So no one's purchasing these and no one's going to make any money. It's the same as any of these other blockchain games. I feel disgusting after watching that video. I feel I feel dirty. I feel gross. I never want to watch another video about this game again. Devs from Ubisoft, Blizzard, Capcom and Nexon and WB. I, I I'm having a hard time believing this is true. I know they wouldn't like just falsely advertise it. So maybe they got like one person from all these devs. But why would someone go from Ubisoft, Capcom, Blizzard, Next, any of these big companies and work at buy Sonic NFT games? Seems a little sus. So I had to dig a little deeper into the staff here and see who they could have possibly pulled in from Ubisoft, Capcom, Blizzard and all these big companies. I think I figured it out. So we can see here the seven main staff members and co-founders and they only go by their usernames here. But if we click on them, we can see their profiles like Kata here that says 17 plus years global game marketing leadership on titles and IPs, including Avengers, Far Cry, Rainbow Six, Harry Potter, things like that. So this might be their Ubisoft guy and he's just a marketing dude. We then have the Blizzard staff member who's an art director from Diablo and Warcraft, the Capcom guy who is a lead producer for Street Fighter, and then the one actual game developer who has experience developing games like Madden, Batman Arkham City, Killer Instinct, and Elder Scrolls. So it does seem they brought people in from other teams, but a lot of them are just marketing, finance, producers, things like that. As players explore dozens of biomes and regions to- Dozens? 
I count eight. That is not dozens. Now you've probably seen donuts flying all over the place on Twitter, and maybe you're confused about what they are or how you can earn them. Well wait, 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 wait. So these tokens are a car or these donuts are a currency you can earn in the game or for logging in. They're speculating what they're for. Speculate on future USD value. From that info, we can speculate at least a 2x, but still just speculation. Wait, so no one knows what these are? Also, the official Discord has a lot of chatter. I, I may I may have to join the official Discord. Then, so their so potential value, else, got you. There's a referral link. Dude, the referral link, there's a referral link. So, okay, so any any crypto thing like this usually has their own type of token, kind of like, like Dogecoin was, that's like a token, right? So they're saying that this this game has its own type of token and these donuts may potentially possibly maybe transfer into those tokens, but nobody knows. And they're just kind of people are just collecting them just because like that. You will have look, he got his donuts. God, looking at this dude's wallet and just seeing this super ugly, like what whatever the heck this is. NFT, I, I just I just hate it. I just hate it. I hate it. I've gotten 700 gold swirls. That's from Dude, he got 700 gold swirls because he has a watcher's <laughs> ring. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> so if you have an NFT, you get more donuts. Okay. Which again, possibly, potentially, maybe, maybe, maybe money. Maybe. Could be. Who knows? No one knows. So in these videos and on the Forgotten Runes social media, I keep seeing something called the Ronin wallet integrated with the game, and I didn't really know what that was, so I looked it up. And the first thing I can find is it saying, Ronin wallet is your boarding pass to a new digital nation. <sighs> okay. This extension allows users to play Axie Infinity and other decentralized applications running on Ronin, an Ethereum sidechain built specifically for blockchain games. So basically what the Ronin wallet is, is it's a Chrome extension or just any browser extension that allows you to connect it to the games that you're playing. And when you sell things or buy things or load in your, your cryptocurrency into it, it connects automatically to the blockchain games that you're playing. So as soon as you load up the Forgotten Runiverse, you'll have all of your Ethereum right there in the wallet and then it just transfers over easy. I guess that's that's just what it is. It's just a, a crypto wallet for games. Now, one thing I noticed when watching these YouTube videos on the Forgotten Runiverse is every single time at the start of the video, the content creator says, use my referral code, use my referral code when you join the game, when you make an account. And this all just seems like one giant pyramid scheme on top of an NFT scam. They're trying to get as many people playing this game as possible because the more people buying and selling their NFTs and their their tokens or whatever, the more value they'll have and the more money this company will make. If no one plays it, then the tokens will have no value, no one will buy them, and the company won't make any money. But one of the most interesting things about the Forgotten Runiverse isn't even the game, it's the website that's full of backstory and lore and like descriptions of all the characters, something that they call cult content, which is just a bunch of art and little like books and pins and things that people have made for this game. They even list community derivative projects and notable creators on their website who've made a bunch of fan art. And that admittedly is kind of cool. I can't really tell if this is a passion project or an NFT project or both, but it does seem to have a pretty large fan base. But it just it has to be said that this is another NFT scam, especially when it comes to the MMO, when it comes to the cartoon that never seems to be coming out, when it comes to the comic that's only had one issue. All this stuff just seems to be ways to draw people into this world while having the most bare bones game possible and just trying to make as much money as they can. I also stumbled across this tweet on the Forgotten Runiverse Twitter that says, The Forgotten Runiverse is a vast, magical world. Watch the new trailer, then check out the NFT collection benefits guide below. And this trailer is one that we already looked at, but if we scroll down here, we can see it says, Wizards, Supply, 9,300, and decreasing, Chain, Ethereum. Wizards are the genesis of the Forgotten Runes IP. Owning any character NFT allows holders to write lore, contributing to the overall story of the Runiverse, and even appearing in our comics, TV shows, games, etc. So not only do they advertise this game as a game you can play whether you have an NFT or not, but if you have an NFT, they're saying you can write the lore of the game appear in their comics that there's only one issue of in two years, their TV show that doesn't exist and the trailer came out two years ago, the games that you're already playing, and etc. So really nothing. You get in-game stuff for having an NFT. Basically, the NFT seems like the battle pass. <laughs> if you if you want to have the premium battle pass of this game, buy an NFT. 
Also, there's Watcher's Rings, which there are only 700 of. These magical rings minted in November 2023 as part of our Eve of Memory pre-alpha event. Originally on the Ethereum blockchain, these have now migrated to Ronin. And I guess these get you even more stuff, priority on land, bonus mana in game, exclusive titles and rings and cosmetic sets. So a, just a different NFT to get even more stuff. And the list goes on with land plot NFTs and collectible card NFTs. And they all get you different things. It's all just more buy in mechanics for you to make this company more money. And looking at the lead devs Twitter here, it's all just a bunch of like weird crypto NFT cult stuff. It seems like they almost care more about making a cult than they do about making a game. All right, I had to check out what donuts were myself. So I went to donuts.forgottenrunes.com and it says complete quests earn donuts. So I just want to I just want to figure out what these things are. So, OK, daily donut. I'm going to click it and see what happens. Closed. The daily donuts closed. Oh, well, yeah, they could, it could just be closed because the open beta is done. So may, maybe that's just why. What if I click bugbear temple? Oh, 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 my. Whoa, what is this? Oh, no, it seems you don't have any cards. Complete quest to gather cards. Uh, and I can't sign up because, again, the beta is closed. So I assume all this stuff isn't working just because we're, we're out of the beta. Cherry cream donuts? Like, what's the difference between what's the difference between different types of donuts? What do the donuts actually get you? Why would I bother doing any of this? What is the point? The highest donut leaderboard is 6,451 donuts. All right, so maybe maybe I'm just misunderstanding this whole thing. Maybe it's not a scam. Maybe this whole game is actually amazing. I couldn't play. It wouldn't let me make an account. So I figured I would join the official community discord and ask them a couple questions. So the community discord actually seems pretty popular with almost 300 online members right now and a really vibrant fan art section, even though a lot of it seems like like AI generated art. There's still quite a lot of it here and some of it's really good. And the general chat in this discord seems really popular. There's a lot of people discussing the game, strategies, all different types of NFT related stuff. I, uh, I popped in and asked a question, but I haven't received a response yet. Oh, someone responded. They said, uh, GM fam with a dancing Viking in a in a in a speedo. Oh, that's not that's not what I was looking for at all. So I decided to just look up the word donuts in the general chat search. And it seems like everyone is just talking about getting their daily donuts. And when can you farm for donuts? And do the NFTs get you donuts? No one is explaining what they do, just that they all want them for some reason. So one of the mods did finally respond to my question in the Discord saying, what do the donuts do? And they just said, we don't have a published use for donuts yet. We'll share details when it's ready. This means that everyone's saying that the donuts don't have a use and everyone's speculating what they're for. They really don't know. No one knows and nothing has been said, but everyone is hoarding these things and it's crazy to me. Well, well, maybe when the game finally drops the end of 2024, like it supposedly will, we can give it a test run and try to play it ourselves. But for now, it just seems like another Ronin integrated game, aka another Crypto Ponzi scheme NFT scam. If you like this video, consider liking, subscribing, hitting the bell. You guys know what to do. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.